I'm Rod from Wright State University, and you got to read this article. In this multi center cluster randomized trial in seven low to middle income countries, the researchers evaluated over 13,000 patients in seven different countries. The patients were included if they underwent abdominal surgery categorized as either clean contaminated, contaminated, or dirty with at least one incision five centimeters or greater. The clusters were randomized to either an intervention group that routinely changed their gloves and instruments before the closure of the abdominal wounds, or a control group that just carried out the current hospital practice. The primary outcome was surgical site infection up to 30 days following surgery as defined by the United States Center for Disease Control. So what did they find? There was a significant difference in the surgical site infection rate between the control group at 18.9% and the intervention group at 16.1%. That's nearly a 3% reduction by just changing the gloves and the instruments. So that settles it, right? Like you're gonna change your gloves and your instruments before you close all these abdominal wounds? Well, keep in mind a few things. Like the fact that it was a cluster randomized trial, which means that some of these individual patient differences between the groups can't totally be accounted for and unfortunately they're sort of inevitable. Also, they didn't really differentiate between those surgical teams that, you know, just changed their gloves and not the instruments or vice versa. Either way, the CHEETAH trial provides a good argument that you should change things up in the OR. Did it convince you? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on social media if you want more surgical education content like this, but until next time, I'm Rod from Wright State University, and I'll see you in the next case.